Good afternoon from the beautiful town of Modena. We've come to a part of my trip in Italy, which I've been very much looking forward to. We're right outside the uh, Lamborghini Museum. Uh, we've got some tickets, just a general entry ticket to the museum. Uh, there is an optional factory tour. We inquired about it before coming to Italy, but uh, that was, we were told, sold out months in advance. So if you are interested in visiting the uh, Lamborghini Museum and having a look at behind the scenes at the factory tour, be sure to book many, many or well in advance. Nonetheless, we're still looking forward to visiting the museum and seeing the exhibits. And as you can see, we're just turning left into the driveway, walking down this short uh, strip into what we can see of the general public area that uh, we're able to visit. Hoping to share our experience of the museum with you. <laughs> right before this, we're not allowed to park in this area. It's reserved for uh, employees of the Lamborghini Museum. Um, so we had to park uh, not a short distance away, but maybe a seven to ten minute walk away from here. Uh, it was quite busy, so just to bear in mind, you cannot just park simply on site. Coming in, this is the entrance. So we are at the entrance to the museum, presenting our tickets which we have purchased or uh, pre-purchased online. Here is some general information about the origins of Lamborghini. As you can see, there is a strong link between Lamborghini and bullfighting in terms of the names of the different models of the cars. Looking forward to seeing more of the history. Okay, so yes, museum tickets and two simulations. Right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So coming past the entrance, you can see just a wall, uh, a timeline of when the uh, company was started back in 1963, all the way to the present day, 2023. Uh, I guess it depicts some of the key moments of the brand. Um, 2023, it talks about an environmental sustainability strategy that is obviously towards the trend of electrification, less so on gas-powered cars. And to the right, after you come into the entrance, you can see all these model cars. You are not allowed to touch any of them, but you can look, stand as close as you want to them. So let's go through the cars on the ground floor, starting from the very far left. I'm standing in front of the Lamborghini 350 GT, built in 1964. This has a V12 engine, top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, 0 to 100 in 6.8 seconds, and there were 120 of these cars produced. Behind me is the Lamborghini P400S, built in 1969. This has a V12 engine, top speed of 280 kilometers an hour, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 5.1 seconds, and there were 338 of these models produced. Next on the rank is the Lamborghini Espada, this was built in 1968. This has a V12 engine, a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour, 0 to 100 in 6.7 seconds, and there were 1,226 of these produced. And behind me is the Lamborghini Countach LP400. This was built in 1974, has a V12 motor, top speed of 315 kilometers an hour, 0 to 105.6 seconds, and there were 152 of these produced. And behind me is the Lamborghini P250 Uraco. This was built in 1972, has a V8 motor, top speed of less than the other cars, 240 kilometers an hour, and there were 780 of these produced. And the last display model on the ground floor is the Lamborghini LM002. This was built in 1986, has a V12 motor, goes up to 200 kilometers an hour, zero to 107.8 seconds, and there were 301 of these produced. Also on the ground floor is an exhibit of the engine from the Lamborghini Uraco that you can have a look at. It's a V8, puts out 220 horsepower at 7,500 RPM. And we can also see a second engine from the Lamborghini Miura. This has 12 cylinders, puts out 350 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. So with the ground floor covered, let's move up to the second level.
So on the second level, there are more of the modern makes of the Lamborghini models up on here. So let's do a quick walkthrough of what's available. at the cars and showroom, we've come to a second part of our tour, which is the simulator, which is an added option for 20 euros. Um, you can drive a simulator for 15 minutes. So our friend Dev is going to take the first go at this. So Dev is just getting ready, adjusting the seat, adjusting steering wheel. Pedals. How does it feel, Deb? Uh, okay, man. Okay. So there are multiple uh, courses that you can choose to, to do. So we're selecting <laughs> which is the most popular and the most famous. Here, Imola or Monza. Oh, Imola or Monza, yeah, of course. Here in Italy, yes. 
So Dev has, has selected Imola, which is one of the most famous and most popular choices here in Italy. Dev has selected the Aventador. Which one is that? Aventador SVJ. Manual. I know, no, I choose automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So Dev has chosen Imola, and the model of car is what? Aventador. Aventador SVJ Automatic. There's a green line on the road to indicate the shortest line, red to brake, and I guess green to take off. Foot down, accelerator. Go, go, go. Live commentary. Okay. Do you want to move the panels? Uh, maybe a David's bit. going to show off his longer that. legs. Okay. Moving the panels down. That's a, that's okay. a big flex. Do you want to move a little bit the seat? Uh, there you go. Second flex. Moving the, moving the seat back. That's a maximum flex. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit better. Maybe the pedal a bit forward. Is there a Fiat 500 option? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. perfect. <laughs> That'll be good for me. <laughs> Do you want to change the track and the car? Oh, I didn't even use the... the um, oh. I'll change the track to the okay. other one, to the Monza. 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 Okay, so David chose Monza. You don't want to change the car? Yeah, you got a choice of uh, a few... Are you things. sure you don't want to change the car? Yeah, Dave yeah. Um, Huracan, caused it to be slightly Huracan, better. Uh, <laughs> super Trofeo. Okay. Insurance. You can't step on the sides. Uh. Does this seat? Uh, you don't have to use yeah, yeah, the yeah. Automatic or what is uh, uh, Automatic, please. Okay. Do these drivers really use both legs now? Do Does the seat go higher if by any chance? Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. But we can put the jacket underneath. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, I thought, I thought like, somehow it would have been better. I thought like those. Uh, Okay, perfect. Okay, no more adjustment needed. Okay, okay thank you. Comfortable? Yep. Okay. Hello. Mic yep. test, mic test. Oh, yeah, this for the reverse. Okay, thank you. Uh, Hurricane Super Trofeo. David S. <laughs> David's all ready to go. <laughs> hey, one, one uh, 53, uh, David. Time one to beat. 53. One 53. I think your first lap, you'll beat it already. Different. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Right? Okay. All right. Come on, David. Yeah, what? Uh, 
David, oh. take it. Shout out. <laughs> All right, good, good tip, good tip. Let's go. Break that that much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe we're just sliding. The wheels like his life depends on it. is very acute. This is your last lap, David. Make it count. Oh. <laughs> good save, good save.
147, 148, 149, 150. Oh, very close. Is that it? Almost similar. No, no, continue, continue. Okay, the S band, S band, S. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, Never mind. Oh, okay. Nice, Thank nice, you. Nice. Okay, well done. It? Fantastic. It was a great experience. I think it was just, uh, I have a lot more respect for Formula One drivers now. <laughs> Thank you so much. And David, once again, with the Monza track in uh, Huracan. Huracan uh, Super Trofeo, I think. Right. Super Trofeo. Right. So yeah, that was the um, Lamborghini Museum Simulator. Uh, 15 minutes each person. So Dev had a 15-minute drive of which model again? Aventador. Aventador. SVJ. SVJ on the Imola track, myself on the Monza track. How was your experience, actually? You crashed many times. <laughs> yeah, I think we both crashed our cars. Uh, I crashed it. You didn't crash it. I, I crashed many, many times. Okay, that completes our... That's pretty much it, isn't it? I think we can go to the good shot. Gift shop. Okay. Last stop, gift shop. Alright. Thank you. Is there much resistance in steering wheel? Yeah, there was a lot of pushback as well. Like, um, you definitely felt it in your... Because the, the chair moves as well. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it's fairly accurate. Nice. I just felt in my mind, like, it felt... You, you wanted the car to go faster. <laughs> but... <laughs> if only there was, like, wind also. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so just on the way out, we just asked for directions to the gift shop. Dev has uh, just encountered a receptionist or one of the walkers here who did the Berlin Marathon in 2019. And uh, obviously they recognized the <laughs> logo on the shirt there. One of the of course, one of the best. Like, clock is on the table. The weather is kind of... <laughs> so some good uh, bonding experience. Just coming to the flagship store here at the Lamborghini Museum, which is in an adjacent building. Yes. He has the Lego of the uh, Cyan, Cyan model. Cien. <laughs> and with that, that concludes our tour of the Lamborghini Museum here in Modena. Definitely worth a visit. There are two levels of display cars as well as the simulator experience. Uh, the gift shop is behind me. The only thing that we didn't do that I would probably do next time if I was to come back here is the factory tour, but you must book months. That's what we were told by the executive uh, in advance. So to reserve a spot and to ensure that you're there and have a full experience of what it's like to be here in Moderna in the Lamborghini Museum, definitely book and pay for the factory tour in advance. Other than that, hope you enjoyed that quick uh, peek at what this uh, place has to offer and uh, hope you enjoy your tour in um, the Lamborghini Museum here in Modena.